if you are able to communicate whether in words or by vo voice then congratulations my friend you are totally capable of creating ai agents so you don't have to learn any 10 or zapier or make.com or any other tool which you usually hear by the influencers or um, the experts on LinkedIn or any other social media. So this Google tool helps you to create AI agents by just giving it a prompt. And the best part is they already have ready-made templates for you to use it right away. And you can also use, create your own AI agents by just communicating your requirements to this agent and it will build the whole workflow for you guys. And how to do that, what is this tool is about and what is this tool, we'll know, understand everything in this particular video. So watch me till the end to be equipped on how to create AI agents without writing a single line of code. So this is a Google tool, which is Google Opal Experiment. You can see Opal Experiment. It is under a beta mode right now. What does beta mode means is right now they are testing this tool to make it more better. So you'll have to go to opal.withgoogle.com. I'll mention the link for your convenience in the description box for you to directly land onto something like this. And once you land onto this, this will be the interface. And these are the ready-made templates which you can use which is provided by the Opal family. And um, if you click on any of this tool, you can see the workflow over here. What this tool is capable of is Diwali Planner. Plan your perfect Diwali celebration with personalized guidance and resources. So I click on start. I want to have a very economical Diwali party and I want to invite my friends and family. So please suggest me ideas for that. And I'll just hit enter and let's see what it gives. So it says describe your friends. These are my school friends and my family members are my parents. That's it. So now it is asking for cultural traditions. My cultural traditions is Hindu and we are open to everything. My estimated budget for Diwali celebration is 20k. So it has asked me several questions and then has started to think about the Diwali planning. And how it is asking so many questions is because it has been created like that. If you see on the left side, celebration scale. And if you want to see, click on this, describe your Diwali celebration scale. It has been given that prompt, uh, enter your preferred Diwali celebration dates, describe your guests, describe your cultural background, describe your budget, all these things. It is trained to do that. And let's see what answer it is going to give. And if you click on console, you can see what steps it took. So I have given all of these prompts. It, you can see right here, uh, it is giving everything here. And we can go through each of the outputs it is providing and you can see everything on the preview as well. If you want to change the theme, you can click on that right now. It is worth. Let's just keep it to that and let's just look for the answer it gives. If it is going to take a lot, it, a few minutes to answer this, I'm going to pause. Once we have the answer, I'll resume back. We have got our output from uh, Google Opal and you can see it is really mind blowing just by answering few questions it has created something like this and it has given us four weeks October 3 to then budget allocation you can actually take this off it has given us a to-do list three weeks out confirm RSVPs like you can actually do everything from here and has given us the whole 28th October day out 30th day before Diwali final house tidying and like this is really impressive because you have seen that I have just answered a couple of questions and it has given this kind of thing for us. And the best part of this, you can actually click on this share app and you can share this to anyone and they will be landing onto just a, your something like a website, but instead of this workflow on the left side. So they will land onto the website where they can actually have access to all these things and um, they can also use it for your their own use cases and everything. So that's what we can do by just using the template. So let's create a workflow for that. You just go back and click on create new and here all you have to do is just give it a prompt. So you just give it a prompt here. Help me build an AI agent which is capable of generating the best hook for my YouTube videos. Make sure you always show the resource from this hook and always give a score rating for each hook and make sure you give the credibility that what is the credibility of finding this hook and give a reasoning that why this hook is will be want to be the working the best. Give me an AI agent which can do that for me. So I'll just hit enter now and you can see it will now start building the whole workflow.
So you can see it has generated the whole application. You on the left side you can see that what steps it has followed. Video topic description. Enter your video topic. Conduct deep research. Generate video hooks. Generate HTML output. So let's see. I'll just click on start. Enter your video topic or description. Okay, so it has already have the audio option. Usually when you create these kind of applications on Lovable or Bolt or any such white coding app, you actually have to give it a prompt that have an audio uh, input uh, node over there. So it already has that you can actually give your prompt in text format or an audio format. So let's just and also you can inclu include your documents as well without us giving anything like that. So let's just give it a prompt. My next video is about how we can create AI agents without writing a single line of code. Help me generate uh, hooks for this. Let's just click enter and let's see what answer it gives back. After thinking for a while, it has given us the answer, which is video hooks showcase. And uh, think building AI agents requires complex code, code. And it is giving the score. The credibility is high. Resource summary, no code AI agents. Reasons for use. The hook immediately addresses a common misconception. You can see... Ditch the developer, speak your AI into existence. The score is 9 by 10. The credibility is medium. Like, obviously, in just not even a minute, you gave a prompt and it has created something very amazing. And again, you can share this app. You can go to the console. You can see what steps were followed during the search. And calling Gemini, it has done the search using Gemini. It has searched the web. It has done that and then given us the answer. Simply follow the steps and you can change the theme as well. If you click on this, you can change the theme. It's a proper like a micro app, which we can totally call it. You can share this to, with someone. It's just amazing that how in, in just a few seconds it has created the output it is giving is really commendable. Like we did not even ask for these filtrations and it has created it on its own. So this says a lot of credit if these features like this are already available on the vibe coding application. They already have these um, efficiency in their AI like it will save a lot of credits for people like us when so that you don't have to keep on giving the prompts again and again in this uh, applications. If you have watched me till here, then congratulations, you are already equipped on creating AI agents and how you can use AI agents. Just communicate and create your own AI agents by just communicating. And this was one use case. I've given a demonstration of three uh, use cases over here. What your use cases could be different. Your efficiency could be different. Your requirements could be different. So make sure you give the prompt accordingly and get the most use out of it. Because if Opal is able to create something like this. Now, if you don't find the output, don't lose the hope. Again, give the prompt. Make your prompt better and get the output. Is AI is capable of doing this much? Obviously, it can get you to where you are actually envisioning to go. Just make your prompting, your communication better with AI. That's all from my end in this particular video. Let me know your learnings in the comment section. Share some love by hitting the like button. Share this uh, video with someone who has been struggling to build the AI agents and so that they don't have to waste time or go through multiple YouTube tutorials on building AI agents on anything. My last takeaway is this is good for people who have no clue about API keys, who have no clue about integrating multiple software in anything. If for people who are on to the, those levels, this is a game changer for them. But for those who are already on a pro level on N10 or Make.com or Zapier, then obviously it is not for you guys. But yes, I would also not disagree that this is this could be a lot of time saver and game changer for a lot of uh, tasks in your day-to-day -day life. You don't have to actually again create um, agents in N10 again and again because obviously those who have been trying to create uh, agents in N10, they already know that it is a hectic process when you are just building the workflow in N10. Um, obviously, it gives the flexibility to have a lot of things to be integrated, but uh, yes, a flex it, it is not so um, easy to learn, easy to implement um, if you are a beginner. So that's all about it in this particular video and I'll see you in the next video.